A favorite part for many of us about Thanksgiving is the dessert table. And today, Bridget is out in the kitchen learning a sweet dish that will have your guests drooling for more. In the Kitchen with Daytime Blue Ridge, sponsored by FNS Building Innovations. Build smart, build right. I'm in the FNS Outdoor Kitchen with Mary Rappaport from the Virginia Egg Council. Hi. Hello. Nice to have you on this windy day. We'll try to hold it down. But you are making this combination pie, pecan and pumpkin yeah. in one pie. You know, if you live in the South, you love both. Uh -huh. And if there's always one of each on the table. And so with smaller groups today, I think that one pie, bringing both together is perfect. And this is actually a, from a, a, a book called Capitol Hill Cooks. Okay. And this was Ronald Reagan. Reagan's That's favorite. Yeah. I don't know who was making it. My guess is it wasn't him. But <laughs> we're, we're going to make it. And the first thing we do is you need to have a crust. Okay. And full disclosure, I don't make my own you pie buy crust. It. Do okay. You? No. I, I don't really make pies, well, though, so I'm uh, the wrong well, person to ask. <laughs> I bought the kind that comes like this. It, yeah. It's rolled up, and it comes like this. That's easy enough. And, uh, and you put it in your own pie plate. Okay. And then you flute the edges. But to make it look like you, uh, you know, like you did it, and mm -hmm. it's just so wonderful, um, what I do, it makes it a little more gourmet, is I go around the edge oh. with a mixture of egg and a little bit of milk all around here, and then um, I sprinkle it. With that gives some, it a little with some sugar. homemade yeah, touch. It gives it that little homemade <laughs> touch and it makes no it. No one will know. Look, yeah, and I mean, it is great. The next thing I do is I'm going to put it right here. And um, this is going to blow away, so I'm just going to tell <laughs> here, you. Here, put me to work here. I Carol. make a circle out okay. of foil. You can see this. I just cut a circle out of foil and I lay it down on the top of this. Oh. Okay? And the reason for that is that it's going to be. It's going to burn. Okay. Otherwise, in the oven, but it's going to blow yep, right, right there now. It goes. But just do that. The next thing for this pie is you take a cup of pecans and sprinkle them at the bottom, and they'll sort of float around to the top of it as we go along. Okay. Okay. So that's done right there. Let's sit this right Now for the right eggs. Here. Yeah. Now for this, we start off with four eggs, uh -huh. which is more than you just usually use for a pumpkin pie, but enough. But, but the pecan pie is the chest pie. So there's four eggs right here. And then you have to put the pumpkin in. Now, here's the story about the pumpkin. Just want you to know that a lot of times we buy store brands mm -hmm. or off brands of pumpkin. This is fascinating. Yeah, and I, what I like to do is I like to put the pumpkin in a strainer mm -hmm. and just let it sit for a while because it's very juicy sometimes, I've noticed. And in particular, look at this. This was the name brand. That's mm -hmm. how much juice came out of the name brand. And this was the generic, this right? This is the generic So get brand. the name brand stuff. Well, if you're doing it <laughs> once a year, go ahead because it's going to be a, goo a really gooey pie uh -huh. if you don't do it. Okay, so this goes in here. I'm going to put all this in. This is has already been strained. So that goes in here, and I'm mixing this up. And into this, we put a cup of sugar, because you do have to have some sweet in here. Oh, yeah, um, of course. Regular pumpkin pie. Um, so really, is it all just, it's the pumpkin mixture that you're doing right here, but the yes. pecan mixture the pecan on the bottom, and that's the how bottom. it combines well, it? Well, and this is, this is um, some syrup? Corn, corn syrup. Okay. Dark corn syrup. If you don't have dark, you can always use light. But you mix that, that up together, it calls for... Uh, a half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie filling, mm -hmm. what else, right? And then a teaspoon of your best vanilla. I always, I have two different kinds of vanilla. <laughs> the best, that's very expensive. And then I have the kind that you use for pancakes on a Saturday morning. You know? So, and we want to skip to how long do you bake it for? This is another thing. You put it in the bottom of the oven at 425 for 15 minutes. Okay. And then you bring it to the middle of the oven for 350 degrees. You lower it and then you cook bake it. But look at this. Tiny bit of salt and a tiny bit of pepper. Ooh. Isn't that interesting? And so that it goes is. in there. And then I decorate the top of it with uh, the halves like this. And then also I, I have an, an extra um, little cookie cutter yeah. to make that top. And I, I think we these. have a shot of that if now. You see this right here. You the can camera's see that. on it. Yeah, right. it looks amazing. I want you to take a bite of and it. And here really. is, I the, will the take a bite of this. Pie. It, this is a pie. If you never make it, make this one. It's so delicious. Make this one. It, you get the best of both worlds yeah. and everything in between. All right. As I take a bite of this, we're going to send people to check out your website. Thank you so much.